if people want to demonstrate free Palestine, I get it. If people want to talk about what the Israeli government is doing and protest that, I get it. When people start saying, I want a thousand more um, October, 7th. October 7th, when they are not only pushing Hamas, but, but targeting uh, Jewish students on campus and threatening them, students who pay tuition where the university has a responsibility, that's out of bounds for me. And free speech has its limits. That goes beyond the limit for me. What say you? We agree. Um, one of the things we're criticizing Israel for right now, though, is collective punishment. You're mad at Hamas and you punish all the people. It's illegal. It's against international law. Similarly, if a, a few students, a handful of students are doing something inappropriate, they're doing something that goes beyond the boundaries of free speech, I agree. Right? That's not representative, though, of, of the broader public. And we can't crack down on all students as an act of collective punishment against the few that we disagree with. What I'm seeing from the students is most are peaceful, most are, are speaking out against Israel, most are speaking out against the genocide in Gaza. And, you know, I saw one or two uh, clips of, of Jewish students being blocked to, from walking and stuff like that. That should never happen. And anyone who says they want to see another October 7th, that is despicable and deplorable. That also shouldn't happen. But I don't want to hold the entire campus accountable for the actions of a few people uh, and as awful and as abhorrent as things as, as some things are to us, free speech is free speech until it creates a campus climate that makes people feel unsafe. And what you described makes people feel unsafe. I just don't think that's the norm. When people are talking about celebrating Hamas, if you substituted any other group, not Jews, but if you put blacks or Hispanics or migrants and you had protests like this, do you think it would be the same? Well, I, I would disagree with the premise of the question. Again, I've been on the campus for those for those uh, protests. In fact, I'm headed there in a few minutes to go to one. And the people there aren't celebrating Hamas. Your question presumes that the people there who are asking the questions and protesting are doing it in the service of Hamas. What they're doing it in the service of is ending the war. They're doing it in the service of, 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 of stopping a genocide. The problem, though, I think, guys, is that for a very long time, we have conflated critiques of Israel with anti-Semitism. And we have to tease those two things out because there are some people who feel that any criticism of Israel is as such anti-Semitic. And so then they feel unsafe and they feel as if they are being uh, threatened. Yeah, but this is this has gone way beyond that. But not as the norm. Harvey. Again, I'm, I'm saying it's not the norm. Again, we agree that there are some instances. But again, when you look at the hundreds and thousands of people out there, they're not doing the thing you're describing. A few are. And again, I don't want to collectively punish all of them.